Welcome everybody. Shh, fire away. Uh, you I've got no doubt they they'll they'll operate in the right way and and Australia did you know sometimes things work and sometimes things don't and we had good record with Australia but there there there, there were other issues that 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 we needed to address and and um and, and you know they, they always say that there's there's two types of coaches there's a coach that's current and there's a coach that's been fired and if you haven't been fired you've never coached so I had a really good five years with South Africa with Australia we had two very good years and um, and it and it ended in tears but that's that's what happens and I'm confident that um, in this role that we'll get things going in the right direction and it won't happen again yeah almost Oh, massive attraction. I, I think you just got to look at, at the passion that the Pakistan public have for cricket. Um, the, the, the passion that everybody in the subcontinent has for cricket. Um, that's a massive attraction. You know, for me, I wanted to come and coach in the subcontinent at some stage in my coaching career because if you haven't coached in the subcontinent, you, 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 haven't, you haven't really coached. So that was a massive attraction, coupled with the fact that we need to improve the rankings in, in ODI cricket without a doubt. Um, we need to we need to improve the rankings in 2020 cricket. We need to become a little bit more consistent. Our Test cricket seems very good at the moment. Um, the Test cricket's been played in in conditions conducive though to to the subcontinent. If we can play well outside of the subcontinent, means that the team's really really going forward. And those are all challenges that uh, that I'm really looking forward to. Oh, look, I look. I think. I mean, I've had some fruitful discussions with all the stakeholders. Um, I've had fruitful, certainly fruitful discussions throughout the last month with Inzi and his selection panel, with with Mushi in terms of the young players coming through. Um, so I've got a pretty good indication of where Pakistan cricket is, and a pretty good indication that if we find some players that become long-term players we need to invest in those players and if we invest in those players and be consistent with our selection and consistent in the roles that those players have within the team the, 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 without a doubt the team will go from strength to strength Adris, Mickey, no doubt, uh, you are a man of professionalism but uh, in Pakistan, Pakistan there is a lot of problems in the team the fixing problems, the fitness problems, the fitness problems how you will handle all these in your first Look, at the end of the day, it's up to me to build that rapport with the players. It's up to me to give them clear role definition, um, let them know exactly what their roles are and how they fit in, and also to, to make sure that they buy into the ethos of where myself, the captain, the selection panel, and the rest of the Pakistan cricket organization want to take the team. So, so, so that's pretty, pretty clearly our vision. Um, all those issues I haven't experienced yet and I will manage them on a day-to-day -day basis to make sure that they don't impact at all on our performance going forward. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure on the, on the time frame. To first, to first of all, it's a, I've got a two-year contract um, with an option. You, you're quite right, and, and, and we'll sit down and exercise that option at some stage. Um, the, the 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 length of time is a difficult one to answer. Um, what I know is, is is that I've got a real plan for for where we want to take the team. I, I've I've watched Pakistan cricket and coached against Pakistan cricket over a long period of time. I've coached in the PSL. I saw firsthand how skillful the players are. There's some really skilled players out here. And it's going to be up to myself and our coaching staff to give those players 
as we always say in the profession, the roots to grow and the wings to fly. We give them the roots to go, that's around their technique, that's around giving them the basis to perform and then we've got to let them go out there and I don't care if they, f if they fail, I don't care if they make mistakes, professional people are going to make mistakes. As long as we're learning from those mistakes and going forward as a team, I'm going to be happy. I don't want us to, be fear, to, to fear failure. I think any team that fears failure is a, is a, is a, team, that, is a team that struggles certainly don't want us to fear failure at all and we're going to we're going to give the players the opportunity to get out there and really perform to the best of their ability so there is no loss of one year yeah, excuse me excuse me no uh, how you will take the advice of uh, former head coach of pakistan jeff lawson who in a press statement said i advise you to keep a, a good relation with former test people of pakistan while a comfortable stay with the pakistan Oh, look, I think that's important to 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 keep to to have a good relationship with with ex players. They they players that have gone before us. They players that have that have worn the 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 country's colours before us. And and they must have some some really good input and insights to give. So I certainly I certainly will keep that uh, keep that channel open. I'm I'm not a guy that's going to come in. Um, and and do it my way. I'm going to I'm going to seek advice from from a from a from a lot of people. But at the end of the day. At the end of the day, I've got an unblinkered view of, of Pakistan cricket. I've got no allegiances. I've got no, to anybody. I think I'm in a position where I can come in now and make the decisions required to get Pakistan cricket going forward. And that is my only interest. Um, you know, if that answers the question. Um, uh, certainly, my my, my um, uh, input has, has certainly been taken heed of. Um, I had very good and clear communication with the selection panel um, before this team team was selected. Um, Inzi and I have have built a, a nice relationship. We spent some time chatting, um, and I will. I know that my opinions will always be be taken into account. At the end of the day. It's their job to select the, the, the best possible team, but I know that they will do that in consultation with myself and the captain always. Oh, look, the, the strategy is to make them believe and make them believe in their own abilities and make them believe in to, into where we want to take this team. Um, and that and that belief comes over a period of time. It just doesn't. It just doesn't start. If I looked at, at, at Pakistanis before, I don't want them to fear failure, because they're very skillful creators. Certainly, would never want them to fear failure, because if you fear failure, you never play to your to your utmost ability. I love to see the players dig deep inside them and find that extra ten percent. That's going to make a significant difference to this team going forward. And that's what I'll be trying to trying to delve and trying to get out of every player is that other ten percent to make sure that they that they become better. And if they become better players, Pakistan cricket benefits. And that's my and and that is my primary focus at the moment. Shabazz. Uh, look, uh, uh, my first target is getting to Hampshire and spending two weeks with the team and preparing us in the best possible way for what's going what's to come before us. Um, and, and Pakistan has been a team that's played very, very well in their own conditions. But like all subcontinent teams, and not only Pakistan, they've, they've, they've battled outside of the subcontinent. And that's exactly like South Africa, Australia and England. When they come into the subcontinent, play well in their own conditions, battle when they come into the subcontinent uh, conditions. We're going to have to absorb that and learn very quickly because our next series is, are England, we then have got a home series against the West Indies, but we play New Zealand and Australia away from home. So we've got to learn very quickly and be prepared to, to, to make the hard yards as players and support staff in order to give the guys the best possible opportunity of success outside of conditions that are familiar to them. Omar, 
Oh, look, uh, he served his time. You know, he he's done it. Um, I, I had um, uh, uh, Amir in the in the in the PSL. He was a fantastic professional. I'm only interested at the moment. The the thi the the other stuff is not relevant to me. The stuff that's relevant to me is making Mohammed Amir the best he can possibly be as a cricketer. Um, whether whether uh, people can say what they like, it's 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 got nothing to do with me. If Mohammed Amir is picked in the Pakistan cricket team, which he has been for the England tour, it's my role as head coach to make him the best possible player that he can possibly be. Look, at the end of the day, they all unbelievably talented cricketers they 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 very 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 good cricketers that's an issue with the selection panel that's up to the selection panel to make uh, of which I will be consulted uh, we'll make a decision but it's ultimately the the role of the selection panel to decide when they come back or not they can they can come back just like any other guy in the Pakistan set up and that's just showing good attitude showing good work ethic and scoring runs and performing. It's very simple for everybody. Yusuf? Uh, yes. Ricky, you have heard so many the captains. Where do you rate Misbah and the forward team of Kofi Nasi? Misbah's record's outstanding. He's, he's a, he's, Misbah's a very, very good captain. I, I, I'm looking forward to, to working with Misbah um, and seeing and getting to know him. I, as I say, I've only coached against Misbah. I've never, I've never worked with him. Um, I hear he's a cricket tragic. I can't wait to sit and talk cricket to him all the time, you know. So um, I'm looking forward to that. But but also working with younger captains. You got Safraz in the 2020, um, and as Ali in the in, in in the ODI. So I'm looking forward to seeing how they think about the game because those are the two. Test cricket is in a is in a good state at the moment if you look at the at the rankings. Um, yes, it's going to be a challenge playing outside of the subcontinent over the next couple of months. But it's our 2020 and ODR cricket that we really need to we, we really need to come to grips with and improve. Um, so I'm looking forward to to dealing with all those captains and getting their philosophies and getting their ideas as to how they think they can improve the team going forward. Uh, at the at the moment, that's an ongoing negotiation with the PCB. So so we've had some very fruitful discussions. The the uh, the PCB management has been incredibly supportive, and that will progress. Uh, excuse me, over the next couple of days. No, look, look. I, I, I've always said that you can't compromise on structure, you can't compromise on team values, and you can't compromise on team culture. Because if you get those things right, you get the team going forward in a really, in, in a really good, um, uh, a really good state. We can't be playing as individuals within a team. That doesn't work. And 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 if, the minute you start playing as individuals within a within a broader a broader organisation. Um, the team starts going off in different directions. What we want is a team that plays for each other, a team that has really a massive amount of pride in the Pakistan badge, and a team that wants to win. And you win, the, you win with good values, good culture, very good discipline, and a very high work ethic. And that's where we need to get the team to. Uh, Omar, Omar. Uh, I, I actually haven't spoken, I haven't spoken to, to, to Waka yet, but I certainly will before, uh, before I go to England. Sorry. Um, uh, that's an on, uh, that's an ongoing chat at the moment with uh, with, with the P with the PCB. I'm very comfortable with the player uh, with the the support staff we have. You know, the, the physio's just come on. He's he's, he's Shane Shane Hayes. He's 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 very good. I've got to know him a little bit over the last uh, 24 hours. I'm really comfortable with. He's at Grand Flowers and incredibly good batting coach he's got a he's got a very good record his work ethic is outstanding no issues at all Grant Luden's been with the team a long period of time he doesn't compromise on his fitness standards really 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 good um, 
member of, of our support staff. So I'm comfortable that, that we've got the people. It's us as, as a support staff getting clear role clarity as well and taking that forward so that our work ethic rubs off on the players and makes sh and make sure that um, we all work together to for the betterment of Pakistan cricket. No, no, no. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't because I, I was I was delayed due to uh, I've, uh, we've just as a family become an Australian citizen. So I was waiting for a passport um, to come through and a ceremony, which which took some time. But I got a I got a I was on the phone to Mushi every day. I got a, an assessment every night of exactly where the players were at. Um, I had constant communication during that camp, so I knew exactly what was going on. Maybe last question is that. Um, no, excuse me. Do you have some? Long term plan? Short term plan is to come in, create the culture that I think is, is, is necessary for a team to be successful. Um, long term plan is to get to number one in, in, in all forms of the game going forward, without a doubt. Um, we need to identify long term players, players that, that, that can be with us for the ride players that can play all three formats we need to identify a really good all-rounder somebody who can bat in your top six and 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 bowl seam sp specifically when you play outside of of uh, of, of the subcontinental conditions um, so those are all those are all things that we need short-term plan is first and foremost to get the team going in one direction everybody playing for each other and everybody sharing a common goal long term is to have ultimate success My No, no, I think the PSL is going to be excellent for Pakistan cricket. I think, I think the PSL uh, happened right on the cusp of the Asia Cup and the, and the 2020. Um, the PSL is, it, long term, is going to be unbelievable because you're going to have your young players. And I, I talk from a Karachi Kings perspective there. Osama Mur, um, you know, you have Osama Mur mixing with... Samuel Badri at times, and that that's that that's going to rub off on those on, on those cricketers w without a doubt, and make them better players down the line. So the the PSL is is going to be a massive boon for Pakistan Last cricket. Question. Uh, Mickey, what's your observation uh, when you compare the Pakistan team with the English team? In which area we are better, and in which area the Pakistan team is weak? Well, I, I, our I, I, our um our goals is going to be competing with them outside of the subcontinental conditions. So if you asked me that question and we were playing the series in Dubai, I would say to you that we were, we were better in all departments except fielding. <laughs> outside, we've got some work to do. The things that wor have, have worried me, and I, I must be honest, is that our fielding, our fielding needs, to, needs to ramp up a huge amount. We're behind the rest of the pack in terms of fielding in international cricket. And then our batting outside of this again the subcontinental conditions because I know the ball's going to swing the ball's going to seem we're going to go to Australia they're going to bowl bounces we're going to need to play off the back foot that is all slightly foreign I'm confident that the players have that ability though so we'll keep working with them to give them the tools in order to cope with those situations when they're faced with it I think the bowling seam bowling and spin bowling outstanding okay, thank you very much